Hey everyone, how are you doing today? I hope that you're having an absolutely wonderful day. Today is the finale for my Dude, You Pan My Battleship project. I have been playing this game with Martha Blair here on YouTube. She will be linked in the description box. If, even though this is the finale, if this is your first time seeing this video, um, I'll quick explain what it is. It was started by Cookie Pans on Instagram and Paula. Her channel is called A Beauty Guru Made Me Do It. She's here on YouTube. They created a game of Battleship, but using eyeshadows. So it's, it's a game, a competitive game to try and see who can pan eyeshadows the fastest, essentially, and sink the other person's ships. Since that has really caught, really caught on, there's a lot of people playing on Instagram, there's a few playing on YouTube, and Martha and I started our game back in December, and we expected our game to go on for at least a year. <laughs> Neither of us felt very confident in our eyeshadow panning abilities, but you guys, we hit the ground running with this project. We both really started cranking out the pans, and we really kept each other on our toes. And I have to tell you, Martha did beat me as I expected, <laughs> but I feel like I really gave her a run for her money. We were really, really close at the end. Before I show you the game board real quick, let me quick tell you what I am drinking today, the tea of the day. This is a Darjeeling from this brand called Davidson's Organic. This is the single Darjeeling. I have to tell you, I have been really enjoying the teas that I've been trying from the brand. They've all been very, very delicious. This particular one is described as a rich, golden-tipped black tea. It's a golden brew with a fragrant, honey-like flavor profile. My thought while drinking it is that I would agree with that. It has a really nice kind of thick flavor to it. It's not thin, is nice and dimensional, just really, really delicious. Okay, I'm going to put my game board up on the screen, how it looked when I first started. None of those shadows had pans in them, and many of them had, had not been used at all. I did try to put some shadows in that were some of my oldest shadows. I really wanted to hit pan on some of the oldest shadows in my collection. But when I started this project, I had only had one pan in my entire collection, and that was in a super shock shadow, so I really didn't know how I would do going about panning eyeshadow. But now let me show you my board and all of the beautiful, glorious usage of my eyeshadows. And that was really the whole point of this project for me. I really just wanted to show usage on my eyeshadows, even if I didn't hit pan in all of them. And starting out in this project, I had 20 eyeshadows put in. 15 of those now have pan. That tells you that I had a really hard time finding her ships. <laughs> Man, there was several times where I thought for sure there was a ship over in a certain direction. I would work really hard on a shadow or three and hit pan in them, and nope, I was completely wrong. So that's why I ended up with so many pans and still not winning. <laughs> But it got down to the point we were both working on the last shadows in where we knew exactly where the ships were. It was just a matter of who could hit pan first. Let me show you the shadow that I have been working on. It is this one from Makeup Geek. I know it's kind of hard to see, but I got pretty close to pan. We were really close. This is the shade in the spotlight. In this project, I used it 18 times, which usually a Makeup Geek shadow takes me almost 30 to hit pan. But whenever I used this shadow, I was using it all over my lid. So I was using quite a bit each time, but still, I don't think I was that close to pan. <laughs> I think I had at least probably at least 10 more uses left. And before I put it in this project, I had also used it six times. So this shadow, that's how it looks after about 24 uses. So even though I don't have pan in there, I am happy to see the usage on it. Now at this point, I'm gonna put up a slideshow of all of the shadows that I managed to hit pan on and how many uses they took. Enjoy.
Thank you guys so much for following along with this project. It has been super fun. And again, congratulations to Martha for the win. This was such a fun game. Thank you so much. She was the one who approached me. So thank you, Martha, for approaching me to play this game because it has been super fun and empowering to be able to use so much of my shadows. But again, thank you guys so much for following along. I appreciated all of your helpful comments and all of the support and just watching the videos. Thank you guys so much. I would have fun playing this game, you know, just by myself and Martha, but it's way more fun when you guys get in on the fun with us and so just thank you so much. Stay tuned for the next eyeshadow project I have coming up. Spoiler alert, I will see you guys soon in my next video. Bye! Mm -hmm.